things that that you know listen okay first of all i think when you're the undertaker you're allowed to have an opinion <laughs> Oh, I'm not First saying, of all, I'm not I want to say I want to say he's earned his right to his opinion, uh, and also understand the Undertaker's perspective on things. Uh, they, as, he's a tired old man who hasn't moved on from anything past the 1990s. That is roughly. one way to say it, but I would say that uh, uh, the Undertaker would also be somebody who has been removed from the normalcy of the locking room, locker room and what that may have become for basically the last 10 years. And he's been removed from society for that long as well. Yeah, at least he's... Uh, on. Uh, the, the second you say back when men are men, you lose the argument completely. Yes, unless you're Silas Young, because it works for him. No, 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 even then. Oh, he, he, Silas Young does a good job with that gimmick, come on. All right, but it, 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 you don't watch Ring of Honor. I think yeah, but, but that's that's his gimmick. Yes. There's a difference. If yeah. you say that as as Mark Galloway, yes, Mark um, saying it. Also, it'd be weird if Undertaker just said when men were men. Actually, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> 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 Eyes like, roll to the back of his head, breaks mm, off the hat. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the second you say back when men were men, I'm like, all right, you lose the argument immediately because real men adjust with the times and adjust their perspectives and accept all people into their culture yes. even people who like to play video games and don't want to carry knives and guns and <laughs> yeah, well, so, hard so drugs break down for me what was said please because i'm just hearing more of the the, re the reaction like that i, I want to know what was it that that he, that he said i i, I mean I, I can i can find you the exact quote like, i don't remember I, the quotes like, that i read were more i thought more about uh, a toughness in the ring i thought and no, I, which I, don't, I don't get that at all. I get that. I've I've heard that say about certain other promotions. You, you know, it, you know it, this idea that everybody's like kind of a little too friendly and they don't lay shit in. You know what I mean? Like that. I mean that's yeah, a, but, that, that's but, that's a legitimate when conversation. Didn't, that's right? when people get concussions. I don't know. That's they're the like, oh, 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 let's let the wrestler tell us how it actually is. I don't know because there are moments like you know. There are times people do are, are a little bit too light in the ring and like right. like if you hit me too light, what am I supposed to sell? Like if you hit me with like mm, yeah, like I like I would look dumb if I sold that because it, it not only doesn't make you look bad, it makes me look bad, it makes the product look bad. Now there's a I was always taught there's a difference between difference between being snug and stiff. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> and like there there are times like I will tell people. Lay that in, let mm -hmm. me, because I know I could trust this person to like, you know, lay it in there. I'll feel it. It's not going to kill me. It's not going to blow my doors off. Yeah. But give me something to sell, because especially if you're like right there, like if you're in like one of the shows where like you're right by the crowd, you got to lay that in. Yeah. Like there's a way to do it and be safe. That's the art of it rather than, you know. I'm hit you now. There's people who can like throw a punch. It looks good, but you don't clip them at all. Yeah. But that's like years and years and years of work. So snug, not stiff. Not not. You're, they're not hitting you like not like hey, hit me with a knockout punch. Like it's 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 a it's a different thing, yeah. right? So like somebody's saying that like people are kind of too soft in the ring. You're talking about like that. They're they are kind of going through the motions and not actually making it look like a fight which is what it's supposed to look like exactly. the worm is a finishing move the worm okay i don't think the undertaker ever got pinned from the worm first of all uh I mean, to my recollection up. i don't know maybe there's a house show in india where something ha weird happened <laughs> it is, a, it is the worm is just an overhyped fist drop because i remember when i tried to learn how to do it and i was like when I, I was doing it i was like yo this like this setup is taking forever like yes. I can't believe someone's actually laying down. So wait for me to start stop doing this stupid move after wrestling for fifteen minutes, <laughs> and like have yeah, enough yeah. energy to do that to what drop a fist on your forehead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I regret ever doing that, man. Uh, um, also, I'm just uh, picturing Christian Noir in the character doing a worm at this point. We we have a, like, we have what, a comment in the chat room. We do have a from, comment in the chat room uh, from, from Badger. Saying she always enjoyed hitting you hard because she legit hates you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're, we were talking about some of the weird shit you did to her. I mean, Badger can say what show. she wants, but Badger's like, like, is she like four foot eleven? 
Like you at least have to be five foot to me to have some type of opinion. So. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is that the Ray Mysterio rule or like I don't you know? Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the Matterhorn rule. <laughs> oh, we love you, Badger. Come back, please. Uh, uh, let's see. The views uh, and opinions of Christian Noir do not reflect the views of those of the Wrestling Mayhem show. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to pre-disclose that at the beginning of the show. Um, Alex Miller, uh, I I want to I want Taker to watch New Japan. <laughs> Listen, I also a perspective of Undertaker, much like I want, Bert. I want Taker to watch the, the Timothy oh, Thatcher. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you should just watch NXT, right? Because my <laughs> God, that or Finn Finn against uh, Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly. You Shit! Yeah, you, you that's what I'm saying. Like, you tell me they're fucking soft, and I'll punch you in the fucking face. <laughs> like, like those guys yeah, will. Well, kill you're each not gonna other. go hard every night like that. Yeah. Yeah, but, but what were you saying, you know? Christian? No, like he's right. Like you don't gotta go hard like that every night. Mm-hmm. But like you know, there are there are, there are certain nights that you know if it's like a bigger TV taping, you might like lay that shit in. Or like if you know you had a house show, it's like you know I can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can and isn't there less it. excuse? Like like they're not doing house shows. They're not going out there three or four nights a week. You and, know, and they're you can say it. They're not doing it in front of fans right now. Yeah, so like you're doing it. For... They're not doing it in front of fans right now. Like if you, when you like, and I'm just guessing, of course, when you lay that stuff in in front of fans and you hear the reaction, it's a lot easier to lay it in and to get the adrenaline going and stuff like that. Well, yeah, but but you're you're in front of a, fu- a bunch of fucking Vizio monitors. Like <laughs> you can't you get the same reaction. That's weird branding, but okay. Um, but uh, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, is is that a difference then when you don't have to worry about the front row hearing you? We just like does the camera see it and it doesn't look like shit for that? But is that the same thing though? Uh, you it's, know, it's it's weird because like like you said, there's no fans. Like you said, you have the Vizio TVs <laughs> <clears throat> watching you. So like, not all the fans are going to be at different angles watching, and like you can have cameras cut to where you know it looks like it landed more than a different angle yeah yeah well so the thing is uh, they don't they're not at different angles or anything they just see what the normal tv feed is yeah they they just see what we see on the show oh i had no idea i part. thought like legitimately like if you're in a cheap sheet the the cheap seats on your vizio monitor you have oh, no, 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 wild seat. wouldn't it be that shit if you're just like i'm on a webcam from <laughs> from from the c section that would be uh, yeah. absolutely wild. That's how they should have done this shit. Yeah, but it's a lot more technology to do it that way. And a lot more feeds, remember. Yeah. That's a lot more bandwidth to you, do that you, out. You pay 200 to be front row yeah, on yeah. TV hey, screen. Hey, you know what? They're going to be on the cock now. They can afford that bandwidth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> They're going to be using all that cock money. Son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> all that cock so I mean, we are, we're not at the uh, okay. Undertaker said more. So so he was saying about how how the people in the locker room are too soft. There was I think there was a po- comment about video games being played versus mm-hmm. I don't know what gin or something back in the day. Um, like they, well, I, I, know he, they, I know they played dice a lot. Yeah, what are we saying, Christian? Like back in it, but then again, back in the day, like they didn't have like what we had today. Because yeah. like you know, I'll hear stories from like guys who like from like my coach and everybody like all the older guys will talk about like, yeah when i did wwe stuff you know what they did back like back in the day you were still bored like you had to kill time when yeah. you weren't shooting promos doing this doing that and a third it's like all right what is there to do you have to do something yeah guys would legitly play cards or sleep or just yeah. bullshit or do what or do something so it's like okay <laughs> you might have a video game to go kill a little bit of time but you know at this time you gotta go you gotta do your promos you gotta get ready for your match and everything yeah like it's just a way to kill boredom because like like i said back in the day what did you what did they have you just played cards and dice and stared yeah, at each I, other awkwardly i think the earliest i ever heard of someone bringing it like because i remember shelton saying he used to bring around a game system and plug Dude. into whatever TV was there. Oh but yeah, even Shelton, Shelton didn't roll until like 2003. Right. I, well, I remember AJ Styles when we did the interview f- with him for missing matches in the hotel room. He, I walk in and he's got like a suitcase with an Xbox in it. 
You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like mm-hmm. a 360 or something. I think it was like 2010. Um, so, you know, they had like the LCD screen and everything like built in, like that kind of stuff, right? Uh, hey, he was, all, he was hot off of that New Japan money. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think at the I time. I many LCDs from my GameCube that plugged in like oh, right on. I was, you oh. know, that's what I imagine in my head every time I say that is like that flip up from the top of the GameCube because it's already got a damn handle. I, I had that and I brought it mm. on a cruise. <laughs> me and my boy we played nba courtside on a cruise after the first day where we got so sunburned yeah, then you have uh, edge and owens watching hockey games he said something about the boys in the locker room carrying what was the guns and knives stuff what it was in there i mean i guess like we're i mean i know the it story was back like the men where the men were men stuff like so are we talking about the story when hulk hogan got arrested because the the wild samoans wouldn't talk when they got pulled over with a gun in the glove part department uh Glove compartment? You don't like, question what a Samoan has to say. If a, Samo- <laughs> if a Samoan got a gun, that's none of my business to well, begin with. Well, the whole point of the story, and according this is according to Hulk Hogan's own book, so take it with a grain of salt. I don't know if this has been vetted by the Gregory Iron podcast and uh, and David Lawless yet, but uh, <laughs> it's a great fucking segment they do over there with Lawless and like, was this illegal when Hogan hit this guy with a truck? You know, shit like that. It's great. <laughs> it's uh, it's amazing. It's great stuff. Um, but. Uh, um, um, what was the point I was getting to? Oh, yeah, because the whole idea was they got pulled over. I think Hogan was driving. The Wild Samoans are with them. Uh, they, they found the the gun, and Hogan was the only one to speak English because the Samoans are really worried about being out of gimmick and somebody knowing, right? Mm-hmm. And get getting back to whichever Vince was in charge at the time because that would be a problem in I don't know eighty two. Uh, so. Well, Hogan spent a night in jail because the Samoans <laughs> could talk. So, because they're the wild Samoans, they don't speak English. Yeah, you gotta take that. You gotta take that out. It's probably good for him. Yeah, he learned up some interesting language. But anyway.